Hello, I'm Carl Rowland with Sherline Products. In this video, we're going to go over G90 and G91, uh, how to use them on the lathe and mill, and what the differences are between them. A G90 is an, is an absolute move. A G91 is an incremental move. Um, for people that know G-code, this is understood. For people that are new to G-code, this means absolutely nothing, which is why we're making this video. So first, we're going to go over uh, using G90 and G91 for moves on the mill with the Masso control, and then we'll go over the same thing on the lathe, which is a little bit different. Our Masso control is on. First thing we're going to do is home it out. Okay, now the position it just homed out to is the machine zero position. Okay, so uh, if I, I can either move in according in, in reference to the machine zero position or to the part zero position. So that's my machine zero position. I've actually used an edge finder and found the center of our, um, our cup holder, which is my part zero. Okay, so that is going to be uh, G55. So my X and Y are in the center of the part. My Z axis is above it so I don't crash anything here. Okay, so when, when moving in absolute, all absolute moves are referenced to that zero point, whether you know the part zero or the machine zero. So in this case, it's my part zero. So if I put in G90 for absolute, G00, and, I, and it's gonna be, a, it's a Cartesian coordinate system. So if I move minus one inch from zero, the tool's gonna move in the minus direction one inch. It's gonna go X minus 1.0. Okay, so it just moved minus one inch, okay, from zero. Okay, if I go X plus 1.0, okay, also, uh, G90 and G91 are modal commands. Once you put them in, they stay in until you change it. So unless I change it to G91, the G90 is in there indefinitely. So my next move, I'm just going to tell it to go to X 1.0. That just moved from zero one inch in the plus direction. So the total move from X minus one inch to X plus one inch was actually a two inch move, but it's going to that point from zero plus one inch. If I want to go back to zero, I'm going to hit X zero point zero, and it goes right to my zero point. Now, incremental moves is going to move in the direction you tell it by an incremental amount from where it is right now. It has no reference to any part zero or machine zero whatsoever. So from where I am right now, if I change it and go G91, G00, X minus 1.0, okay? It's gonna move minus one inch from where it was, okay? If I tell it to go X minus 1.0, it just moved minus another inch, again, from where it just stopped, distance and direction. So that's what your G91 is. It's an incremental distance and direction that you want an access to move, and it is not related to a part or a machine zero. Okay, if I want to get back to my um, part zero, because I now just moved two increments of an inch, I would have to go X 2.0 get back to zero and it, it what it what shows up on your screen right here are absolute positions that's how you move incrementally or an absolute on the mill uh, the next part of this we're going to go up and show you how it's done on the lathe and because of the way Masso has the lathe set up it's a little bit different on the lathe than it is on the mill but hopefully 
that gives you a better understanding of G90 and G91 on the mill. On the lathe, the G90 and the G91 work a little bit different, okay, because of the way Masso allows you to define your tool. So if you go to, we'll call up, this is tool number two, this is tool number one, we're gonna call up tool number two. So T2, M6, okay. Then if I go to the tooling page and I double click on tool two, you'll see that we have the arrow which shows that this tool is a backside tool, okay? All right, save. Okay, then if we go to tool number one, T1, M6, and we go to the tool data page and double click on that, you'll see where the arrow is on the front side showing that it's a front side tool. Uh, Masso does this so that no matter what side of the part your tool is on, all numbers in the X that are positive are gonna move away from the center line for either tool and negative moves in the program are gonna move towards the center of the tool, center of the part, okay? But when you're in MDI, okay, if I go into MDI, in MDI and G90, it's still gonna work that way because it's looking at the tool and the tool data page. For G90, the X0 is the center line of your part and the Z0 is the front of your part. So if I call up tool number two again, two, M6, okay, and I tell it I want to move to X, X0, so I'm gonna go G90, G00, X0.0, that tool moves to the center line of the part. If I tell it I want it to move to, and it shows on the screen too, X0. If I go X.25, it's gonna to move, to, move away from the center line to a diameter of 0.25. Okay, now if I call up tool number one, T1, M6. Okay, and again I go G90, G00, we'll go, uh, Z.1, okay, so just move 0.1 in front of it. I'll go X.25, it's gonna to move to about 2.5. If I could tell it to go to X0, move to zero. I tell it to move back out, X.5, it's moving away. So both of these tools are moving away from, from the center line, X0, when it's when you tell it to move in a plus direction in absolute, okay? Now, if I, if I tell this tool, which is on my front side tool, if I go to G91, G91 does not reference the, the part zero at all, okay? Wherever this tool is sitting right now becomes X zero as far as the control is concerned. So when I give it a G91 move, it's gonna move that axis by the amount I tell it to move and the direction I tell it to move, okay? And that direction, if you click on your jog page, okay, an X plus move is going that way, an X minus move is coming towards you. And that's for both tools, there's no difference, okay? So the problem that arises when you're using G91 on a lathe is, okay, I was just using G90 and every time I gave it an X plus move, it was moving away from the part, either tool, on either side. If I go into MDI and I give it a G91 move for this tool, G91, G00, X.5. Okay, that would have just crashed my part because it just moved a half inch in the X plus direction. So you have to, understand that in absolute and when you're programming in absolute x plus moves are always going to move away from the center line okay but when you're using g91 it's going to go by the direction that your axis jogs for the direction that it moves in g91 and again the g91 is just a distance and direction if i want to move it back out for this tool i'll go x minus 0.5, and that moves me back where I was. If I go another X minus 0.5, again, it's just making incremental moves of 0.5 in the minus direction, okay? 
So I, I hope that explains it to you. Um, uh, there you have it. Thank you.